Hello everybody and welcome to another Nephilim build. Today we're going to stand with the stone as Jen and Tristan from Young Souls. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with ability scores. Using point by will make strength and dexterity 14 and constitution 13. Never been in battle and yet they're cracking goblin skulls like pros. Next will make intelligence 12 and then wisdom and charisma 10. They're clever, street smart, and hilarious, but also teenagers, so inexperienced, immature, and kinda shitty. For race, we're going to go with Variant Human, putting our plus ones into Strength and Constitution and taking the tough feats. We'll also take Survival and speak Common and Goblin. We'll take the Urchin background, getting City Streets, Sleight of Hand, and Stealth, and Proficiency with a Disguise Kit and Thief Stools. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me if they had a rep. For class, we're going to go with Fighter. We'll get Strength and Constitution saving throws, pick Athletics and Acrobatics, and be proficient with all weapons, armor, and shields. At level 1, we'll get Second Wind and our Fighting Style. The beauty of this game is you can build either sibling however you want. Personally, I made Jin a two-handed powerhouse and Tristan a twin blade speedster, but for this build, I'm going for a more all-around build. So we'll take Defense for some extra AC. At level 2, we'll get Action Surge, and at level 3, we'll get our Martial Archetype. We're going to take Eldritch Knight for Weapon Bond. Pick whatever weapon you want. Level 4 will get an ability score improvement, which will put into Strength and Constitution. Don't worry, we'll fix the odd number. At level 5 we'll get extra attack, and at level 6 we'll get another ability score improvement, which will put into Strength. Finesse weapons still work with Strength, and whether you pick medium or heavy armor, we have all the dexterity we'll need. At level 7 we'll get War Magic, and at level 8 we'll get another ability score improvement, which will cap our Strength. Max damage for everything. At level 9 we'll get Indomitable, and at level 10 we'll get Eldritch Strike. At level 11 we'll get another extra attack. The combo game is strong here. At level 12 we get another ability score improvement which we use to take the Tavern Brawler feat to punch, grab, and smash with the box. It'll also fix our constitution. Told you so. At level 13 we'll get another Indomitable, and at level 14 we'll get another ability score improvement which we'll put into Intelligence to make our accessories stronger. At level 15 we'll get Arcane Charge for a use of Warp Medallion, and at level 16 we'll get another ability score improvement which we'll also put into Intelligence. At level 17 we'll get a second Arcane Surge and a third Indomitable. At level 18 we'll get improved war magic, and at level 19 we'll get one last ability score improvement which we'll put into constitution. Lastly at level 20 we'll get a third extra attack, maximum combos. Now that we're level 20 we finally have our modifiers, how to talk spells. As an Eldritch Knight our spellcasting ability is intelligence, a spell save DC is 17, and a spell attack modifier is plus 9. As a level 20 Eldritch Knight we'll have 4 first level slots, 3 second and third level slots, and 1 fourth level slot. We'll have three cantrips to choose from, taking Booming Blade for a charged attack, Lightning Lure for a maxed out grappling hook, and True Strike to fill the slot. We'll have 13 spells to choose from. To start, we'll take Absorb Elements, Shield, and Counter Spell to parry basically any attack both physical and magical. Chromatic Orb will give us Fire, Ice, and Lightning Shots, and Earth Tremor can be a big slam with a heavy weapon. Magic Missile is either the Bow or the Archer Summon, while Thunder Wave and Shatter are the Mine. Misty Step will be the Warp Medallion, Wither and Bloom is the Vampiric Totem, and Fireball is the Bomb. Lastly, we will take Haste to get some more combos going, and Conjure Minor Elementals for a variety of summons. If Wizards could take Conjure Animals, I'd take that instead. This is the best we'll get. Going back to the main sheet, feel free to take whatever melee weapon or armor set you want. This build will work with just about all of them. Though if you want to go light, then you might want to swap the Strength Increases with Dexterity. And of course, feel free to pick whatever fighting style suits what you want. Our AC will be based on our armor, our movement speed is 30, and our average HP is 244 with 20 d10 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all next week when I make Darkness from Konosuba.